Families whose children have been born with a medical, physical, or developmental problem often find it hard to afford treatments for their feeding challenges. Well, luckily, one organization makes it their mission to provide them help, and you have a chance to pitch in. Here to tell us more are Jennifer Schoengart and Mandy Carlson from Nourish. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Pleasure to have you. It's a very important thing we're talking about today, and, and a lot of people may not actually have awareness of what these specific feeding challenges are. Mm -hmm. So, Jennifer, let's start with you. What is a feeding challenge? Sure. Well, as you mentioned, um, it can be come from a variety of reasons, either medical, physical, or um, some kind of developmental challenge. Um, and in my case, I have a son who was born um, and was in the NICU and then came out, came home and had some trouble um, drinking from a bottle and breastfeeding. And so um, we were able to get some help from some occupational therapists um, that address these kinds of challenges and for most for a lot of children it can show up in different ways um, in some babies and children it can be that they cry a lot when mm. they're drinking um, or they just avoid food completely because it's painful for some reason physically to eat mm -hmm. um, in some babies they have trouble coordinating the the sucking and swallowing there's actually it's actually a lot of work to to eat and to drink, um, that people sometimes don't realize how much really goes into it as far as muscle control and that kind of thing. So um, there are a lot of times when babies and children will have some, some challenge related to that and it's, it's heartbreaking really for families because we all know love, food is love and, right. and when you can't feed your child it's very stressful and really tough. It is, and they have no control of the situation. I mean, it's not their fault that they're having these issues. How prevalent are feeding challenges really, Mandy? So it depends on what population you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So for children who are just out there in the population, it's anywhere from 30 to 50 percent. Mm -hmm. For kids who do have a developmental challenge, that's more towards 80 percent. And a, um, a study came out that children with autism is upwards of 90 percent of children with autism have a feeding challenge. So it's much more prevalent than we give it credit. Mm -hmm. um, and again, as Jen was speaking about, if you don't have a child who has an a feeding challenge where they're not eating and mealtimes, you know, are becoming a struggle every single time you're eating, which for most people are three to five times a day, then you wouldn't even think about it. It's right. second nature for us to eat. But for so many families, it's it's a struggle. Well, it's a meal. challenge. I mean, not only not only emotionally, physically for the child, but also financially. And that's where Nourish kind of steps in and helps a lot of families that don't have the means to pay for this kind of therapy, right? Correct. Yes. Yes. So um, health care is Ever changing, mm -hmm. and um, in our current healthcare situation, uh, families have extremely high deductibles, or even copays are extremely high. So they are oftentimes can't afford feeding therapy or dietitian services. So here you have a child who's not eating, and you found a resource, and then you can't pay for it. Right. So Nourish is there to help those families be able to afford the feeding therapy and the dietitian support, or the feeding equipment might that might help their child eat. Right, and like I said, now we can give back to Nourish too, because yeah. Nourish gives back to so many people. So tell us about Taste for Nourish. Uh, yes, I think this is our seventh annual yeah. Taste for Nourish, which I can't believe it's been seven years. Oh, <laughs> I know. Um, and it, it's held at the um, Fox Theater here Friday, mm -hmm. this Friday, November 3rd at 6.15 p.m. And it's a silent auction followed by some parent testimonials that are videotaped in the beautiful theater. You get to watch those. And it just really illustrates, family stories illustrate the best how, how impactful these feeding challenges can be for the family and how important it is to find those resources and that support. Well, there's so much that's going to happen there. It's such a great way for people to give back. And, and Jennifer, I kind of want to leave off with you. What would you tell people to encourage them to give back to Nourish and Taste for Nourish specifically? Right. So this event is just a really positive event. It's really a great opportunity to support a local organization as well as families in the local community mm -hmm. um, that are dealing with challenges that sometimes not everybody is aware of. Um, and, you know, not being able to get the help for your child, as Mandy was saying, for therapy services or an evaluation to even find out if you need services can be um, just really, really tough for a family. So I think this event 
is a really great way to show that how important we recognize that it's a fundamental thing that families want to feed their children and how important it is that we provide those families mm -hmm. with those services if they need them. Well, such a simple act can you know really be so profound for so many families. You guys do such great work at Nourish and people really have to go out to this event and help you guys out. So I'm going to let them know the information, where they can get tickets, etc. And I want to thank you both for joining us today. Thank, thank you. you. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Now, to help children with feeding challenges, you can support the annual Taste for Nourish event taking place this Friday at the Fox Theater with doors opening at 615. To learn more, please visit nourishaz.org or call 230-3630.